CNN once in a while does quirky videos that we have to cover on this story. One example of that was Epic Mountain Man. Well, now we have Epic Naked Man, uh, and he sabotaged an interview that was being done by Eva Halpain and John Manicel. Now, their home was destroyed after a tree fell on it. It was a very tragic story, but in the middle of this interview, look what happens. It was absolutely plumb busted, his eyeball. What is this out here we got? That's what he was, Buddy was looking at. I ordered a sick Buddy on him. Do you know him? Jim, do you know this gentleman? No, nope, not at all. We're going out there and start an ass kicking contest. All right. Harry, come here, Harry. I don't know what was better about this story. The look on that 22 year old's face as he walked into the shot grasping his genitals. <laughs> or or uh, the two elderly people who are just completely, like, they seem like they're upset, but they're also unbelievably nonchalant about what's happening. Yeah. What do we got over there? <laughs> <laughs> and the woman's like, that's what the dog's been looking at. Oh. <laughs> and they called him a gentleman, too. Yeah. They did call him a gentleman. I don't know if he was grabbing his genitals. He might have just been covering them. Maybe part of his head was still working. Right. According to the articles uh, that I've read on this very serious situation, um, he was grabbing them uh, mm. and you know he did get arrested uh, the cops allege that he's been on drugs and that's the reason why he's been walking around naked holding himself that way uh, he's a 22 year old by the name of Nathaniel Koba I don't know what kind of drugs he was on the police have not specified that mm. but I don't think it's too far-fetched that he was on something yeah. <laughs> yeah first off like I said during the video that looks exactly like Daniel Radcliffe we know he was in Equus apparently he's just performing on the road now like he's taking his his show all over the country but uh, also if I saw this, like I was looking down the street and I saw somebody coming at me like that, right now, you know what I'd think? Bath salts. I that know, guy was naked I too. Know. I understand we, we bring it up all the time, blah, 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 but that guy was running around naked too. If somebody's outside naked, and look, apparently he was just having fun, like, he's like, this is what I got, what do you got? Like, mm -hmm. he was pretty cocky, but it could be scary, especially if you're an old woman as one half of that couple was. Right. <laughs> he did have a massive grin on his face, which would be scary. I, I could definitely, yeah, I can imagine being uh, afraid in that situation. Um, Jim Halpain told a police dispatcher, I have a naked man standing out in the middle of the damn street with his privates in his hands, just standing out there. That's right, ma'am. Buck naked, no shoes, no socks or anything. The, the quote I liked was from, from the old man, and he says, I ought to go out there and start an ass kicking contest. I love old men. <laughs> I know. I, I, I think the best part of that video was actually the couple. And, I, you know, I feel horrible that something so tragic happened to them. You know, that's the downer angle of this story. Their house was completely destroyed. They say that they have nothing left. Hopefully they have some sort of insurance or something that will take care of them. Um, but they were just such characters, especially in their nonchalant reaction to what was mm -hmm. happening. I mean, Maybe what they were saying seemed pretty serious and urgent. But their delivery was so nonchalant. Well, which old was people incredible. operate on a different, like, I know. different time totally. frame than us. Yeah. I feel like you cannot surprise old people anymore. <laughs> it's like it's like if someone were to, like, God forbid, drop a bomb sort of somewhere, they're like, nah, it's Wednesday. Mm -hmm. You know, like they they're not they're not impressed by anything. Lot. They've yeah. seen a lot of crotches in their day. But uh, a nice little turn to this is they say that they owe their lives basically to the University of Arkansas Razorbacks football team because they were off watching them when the tree fell through right. the house. So they could have been inside and possibly killed. Right. I know. Oh, God. You know, stories like that also remind me that if I had time to volunteer anywhere, I would want to volunteer at either a, a women's shelter, you mm -hmm. know, for those who have been abused or, um, you know, who need a place to stay or at an elderly yeah. home. Just because, like, I feel like they're neglected so much, and they're yeah. so, like, of course not all of them, right? <laughs> this is kind of a blanket statement. For the most part, they've kind of been abandoned. They feel lonely. They want, they want attention, and I don't know. They got it just, it, it breaks my heart. 